rise today to stand with my fellow members of the Republican Women's Policy Committee to discuss an issue of concern that's on the minds of every American, especially moms. The topic of concern to so many of, the, of today is our national security and the need to maintain a strong military presence. We currently face many threats abroad, including the terrorist group ISIS and the newly crafted nuclear agreement with Iran. As threats continue to grow overseas, so should our response. We need for our Commander-in-Chief to lay, lay out a plan of success. We cannot stand idly by while the Islamic State continues to grow. This barbaric group is an imminent threat to the United States and our allies all over the world. Yet another national security concern facing us today is Iran, the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism. Just last night, Iran and the other world powers reached a so-called nuclear deal. I remain deeply skeptical of this so-called deal. Furthermore, Iran has threatened our greatest ally, Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu has already called this deal, quote, a historic mistake. The president promised us that he'd walk away from a bad deal, but instead he's forsaken his promises, neglected our allies, and disregarded the concerns of the American people. Because of this, because of the many freedoms we enjoy here in the United States, we will always have a target on our backs. This is precisely why we must maintain a robust military presence. At home in North Carolina, I have the privilege of representing the nation's largest army installation, Fort Bragg. Despite the mounting threats abroad, the Army began its reduction of 40,000 troops last week. This included a loss of 842 soldiers at Fort Bragg. I firmly believe that any troop reduction is not the best interest of the national security we have. However, in light of the troop reduction, I did receive a piece of positive news regarding a decision by the Air Force. The Air Force has decided to stop pursuing their destructive proposal, which is to close the 440th airlift wing. Our military is one of the best and the brightest. These men and women are the most well-trained and well-equipped in the world. We are blessed to live in a country that stands for justice, embodies freedom, and exemplifies liberty. Mr. Madam Speaker, thank you, and I now yield to the gentlelady from Missouri.